What is up? I love basketball TV. This is Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today we're talking about how to increase your free throw percentage. So now here's a very, very common thing that's taught amongst free throw shooters, and a lot of coaches will teach you this, okay? So they will say that there is a nail, and if you don't know this, so there's a nail right here in the middle of the free throw line, which is supposed to be there directly with the hoop, where a lot of coaches will tell you to line up your right foot if you're a right-handed shooter. So for me as a right-handed shooter, I go ahead and line that up. Thing is, my shot path also comes up directly up that foot. So that makes a lot of sense for me. But let's say that I'm a player whose shot line comes up more through the middle and my shot's coming from here. Well, now this is not aligned with the middle of the basket. So it might make more sense to me to go ahead and split that nail right through the middle. And so maybe now my right foot's here, my left foot's here, and the ball and the path that the ball takes, now the ball is in the middle of the hoop. So that's gonna be the biggest key for you as a free throw shooter is to understand your shot path and to line up your body with your shot path. Do I suggest you to shoot straight and up here with your elbow underneath? Absolutely. But if your elbow is just slightly out, not a big deal, and you're here and your shot path comes like this, this is okay too, and my line is still good and I'm lined up with my shot path and where the ball can allow, where I can allow that ball to go straight to the rim. Instead of going here, having my shot path here, and then having to shoot across my body almost there. Now, the worst, and of course, I absolutely don't suggest this, but if your shot path comes this way and your shot's over there, which I will absolutely never suggest, then I would highly advise you to go ahead and fix it to make it a little bit more straight. But if that's the case, then you're going to want to align yourself up more towards this left foot. Where that release point is, if that's here, then you want to have it aligned there instead of being over here and then shooting across. I'm just trying to show you how to align yourself at the free throw line to help your percentage. So even if you're not gonna fix your shot, you can hopefully just increase your free throw percentage by allowing that ball to go a little bit more straight with your alignment. Now next is gonna be our routine. Now if I'm in a gym with zero people, my routine now is simple, spin, one, two, shot. I don't want it to take too long, of course I breathe, but I don't want it to take too long because now I'm gonna start to overthink my free throw. So I'm not trying to sit here, one, two, three, because now I'm thinking a lot, you know, four, five, six, dribble, whatever move I have to do to get into my free throw routine. If I start to take too many dribbles, I start to overthink, right? Even in a gym by myself, now I'm not even getting enough reps up. And then when I get into a big stadium where there's hundreds and hundreds of players screaming, of course I'm gonna block out all that noise, but sometimes things come through. And you don't wanna hear that when you're at the free throw line. You wanna get right here, sharp focus, boom, simple routine and go through. You don't have to have my routine. Maybe yours is a little more simple. Maybe it's one bounce. Maybe it's three bounces, not a big deal. But I don't wanna take a long, 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 long time to shoot my free throw. I'm not trying to stand here, breathe, breathe, one, two, one, two. And now I'm thinking a lot about this shot and now I might be overthinking it. And I also don't wanna come here and just catch it and just shoot it and rush. I wanna make sure that when I have that ball, I can be here, one, two, easy, boom, knock down. And not have to think about it too much, step up to it every single time the same way. Whether there's one person in the stands, five million people in the stands, doesn't matter who's there. One, two, boom, shot. Knock that down the same way every single time. Now the third step that we're gonna look at is just gonna be what we do after our free throw. So of course you know you can't step over the line, so you're shooting it. And if I can land on my toes, I put myself right here, good balance. And if anything, after the ball hits the rim, I can take a step forward. What I don't want to do is shoot that ball and start to fall backwards. Because now it's going to hinder the arc on the ball and I might end up missing a lot of them short versus being able to go forward even just slightly and allow that ball to go in. Because of course I can't jump at the free throw line. Well, I mean you can, but you don't really need to jump from this far away and you don't want to cross that line. So from here, just generating that extra power to go up and just slightly forward on the toes helps me to keep good balance, helps that ball to travel in the way it needs to versus falling backwards where I now lose the arc and I'm not very consistent. Of course, you never want to fall sideways to one side or to the other. So balance is a key point here. I'm relaxed, one, two, I shoot it. And if anything, I lean forward and not backwards. Now, a couple different ways that you can work on your free throw and one of my personal favorite, right? When you step up to the line, you're normally gonna shoot two free throws, sometimes one, sometimes three, but normally it's two. 
So anytime I'm in the middle of a workout or my players are in the middle of a workout, before they get water, we come to the line, one, two, go through our routine and knock down two free throws before you get water, right? Because that's a very, very common thing in basketball that you're moving, running back and forth across the floor. Bang, we step up to the line while we're exhausted. So another way that I like to work on it is of course to go full court layups this way, this way, this way, this way, back and forth a few times. Of course, up to you until you're gassed. Now you're getting your endurance up, you're finishing your layups, you're working on your fast breaks. Boom, you got fouled. So you step up to the line, one, two, go through your routine, bang, knock down your free throw. But by gassing yourself out almost and pushing yourself through game tempo, now you can step up to the line where you're tired in a real game scenario like you would be. Another way that I've seen really effective to work on our free throws is that we'll go ahead and stand here, we'll get a partner, and what we'll do is we'll shoot free throws for a minute straight, real quick. You wanna make at least 20 in a minute, so it's getting it up every three seconds, you gotta make a shot. You might miss a couple here and there, but you get them up quick. This is to get you out of thinking about your free throws and just to be able to stand here, get good quality reps up, boom, 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 and making 20 in a minute. So just a couple drills that you can work on for your free throws to be able to get them up really fast without having to think, work on that technique, get a good feel for that spot, and knock him down. Go dummy, go beast on him.